Hello viewers, we're gonna play some more worlds and it's probably be the last video for the day for me and I'll probably play again next week or some shit. But uh four damage, so we actually need spear plus to for this to work out. I'm gonna go um kill this guy. Okay, who needs healing like really bad? No one? Yeah, everything seems everyone seems pretty fucking healthy, let me tell you. Uh, and divine bolt again. Alright, great. Five skill points. Alright, let's use Demoralize. Uh, let's shoot him. And strike. And who needs healing? Uh, Ivan could use a, yeah, some healing, honestly. I mean, we'll use a Lock Blast. Or no, lock beam. My bad, lock beam. Let's shoot him. Uh, do you also have embolden? Yeah, you do. Okay, great. Let's go and throw a body. All right, there we go. I did fucking nothing, but I'll take it. Ah, uh, stab. Whoa, what? That three damage actually killed him? Holy shit, all right, I'll take it. What the hell? All right, all right. That was kind of funny, not gonna lie. Well, it's a good thing we saved Dirty Knife, huh? Too bad I can't get a back attack on. No, I can't. Yeah, fuck it. I gotta say, that's some pretty good fucking damage considering that this guy has about 42 defense and she can't even do break bolt on him. That's some pretty good ass damage, I got. I just gotta say. Nothing can defend against usable, apparently. Alright, uh, roundhouse kick. Grab, throw. Uh, strike. Shoot. Or do you want a grenade? Hold on. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just wine chug, actually. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. Alright, let's use Embolden again. For that dodge. And let's throw another body. Yeah, Flames of Purgatory. And we'll finish with a Divine Bolt. 75 Zoltex. 10 skill points, great. Wait, do I still have his? Oh, I just remembered. Yeah, so for the next hour, we're gonna want Dark Cleaver. I just remembered about it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want Dark Cleaver. Like, for, for reals, like we're gonna need it. This is either like a hit or miss level, so if I fuck up, I fuck up. Okay, I think that's all we can do. Ouch, oh my god, 71, jeez. Let me uh, get a corner hit right here. And move. Knife. Flames. No, okay, not yet. What about now? Flames of Purgatory? Alright, that worked out. Receive steel plate armor, 10 skill points. You get 900 Zoltex out of it. 10 skill points. Oh my treasures. To what untold injustices have these monsters subjugated to you? My poor dear, we must inflict upon them the tortures of described in Melanex Virtual Chatiste. Did that one survive the onslaught? Are you sure you haven't already stole it and pawned it? Oh, Azu, are you alright? You fought so bravely. And Martin too. Your prowess was like that of Mason the Second in his fight against the Bugman of Doran. <laughs> what? Thank. I like to know the story behind that in this game. <laughs> thank you, Vera. I mean, <clears throat> thank you, Vera. But we have pressing matters to address. Those truths spoke of Leothar's order to arrest us. This implies he expects a Varenese advance. Given Leothar's bold actions, Derekin's forces may soon march on Turva. We we too must mobilize. I didn't acquire any army just to have it sit idly by. I welcome to the emergence of your backbone. 
Yet we must strike Veronese troops at once. There exists but the task of escaping Terva to lead your army. What of my well-being, Ed? You and your companions run around like madmen, ass assassinating leaders with no thought of the future, and leaving me in jeopardy. How is that for a mighty lord of Terva to speak? You're actually a mighty, mighty lord of Terva, right? What'd you say your pedigree was again? Good god, I need a smoke. Tevrin, I'd like to discuss some ideas for our escape plan. Some of the Neandon lingers within Terva's walls, and I think we can coordinate. Hey old man, the Gimp is acting antsy again. I think we got a runaway situation on our hands. What temerity! Once more, we'll show him the dangers of such rebellious actions. Do it here, man. I have a pressing issue to deal with. Pressing issue? Am I not your commander? Where are you going? Certain matters take precedence, Prince. Have I not said you'd not succeed without me? I've already concocted a plan. I wait my return and will hear of its details. Hmm. I wonder. Milan, come here. We need to speak in private. It, excuse me? Where is it that you think you're headed? You're not going to leave a lady waiting, are you? Come along now. Uh, what the fuck is happening here? Alright. Here stands the fool. A episodic back to your trail with ease. Did you forget your remaining depths or truly think you could evade us even at such a time? I wasn't say I wasn't say let me check something real quick, but No, I think I have the settings on right here. Like I don't know you're gonna chase after me. I was actually hoping you would for once. Now you're the one plotting something, huh? Don't tell me Zelfia's flirting with your uncles actually got you worried. That's not the start of it. There's hostile forces at our hideout, throughout our city, and probably more headed our way. I'm not even gonna get into whatever the hell's going on with Azu. I can't even be sure that reality is what I once thought it to be anymore. And yet here you are, Tevrin, eagerly going along with all of it, even working for the guy who wants to dive deeper into the heart of all this madness. You really think you're gonna win a war for Martin? All this is just nuts. Why don't we get out of here and just, I don't know, start over? Poor Ivan. To whom my machinations are ever oblique. <coughs> Holy shit, hold on. You get dry throat. Oh my god. That's why I fucking get for eating cinnamon toast crunch. Fucking choked on the cinnamon, man. Poor Ivan. To whom my machinations are ever oblique. Martin may yet lose, but it's a gamble I'm willing to take. You, an elfish as Nando. Aficionado of the dice should understand. Look, old man, we all know you're just getting tired of running these petty crimes and just want to find some cushy desk job before your limbs go arthritic. I remain hale in body and sound of mind, rude girl. But you, Mr. Vatklov, in your boundless wisdom, what greener pastures would you have us seek? Somewhere we can actually survive. Anything's better than this. Hell, we'd be better off fighting for Verona. Fight for that bald asshole who attacked us, the bitch made porcupine head prince, and their pissant soldiers? What good survival if I gotta bend over for that? I think I see the true issue. It does not fear that drives you, despite your facade of cowardice. No, you pursue your vain quest to seek out your father, do you not? I don't know what you're talking about. I fought with him in the old war. The motivation of any Vaklav spawn were abundantly transparent to me. Why, tis the very reason for you leaving Foria. You came here looking for your dad? What, was he mean to you as a kid? You wanna give him a hug and a kiss or something? Do you watch your words, girl? I shouldn't have you interfering with my schemes. Or perhaps you had me reveal your abundantly embarrassing life goals. Y you wouldn't dare. So your scheme so what's your scheme this time? When your manipulations don't make things worse for everyone, they only benefit yourself. As should be the case. Who might look out for me otherwise? But I shall grudgingly inform you of my intent, for I will need your assistance in this matter. Fool that Martin is. He seeks to flee Terva too soon, leaving it an enemy stronghold when it could serve as an allied force. But there is a way to resolve this, and this is why he's a tactic he's a tactical tactician, man. Cause if they actually fight and save Terva, right? If they get rid of, if they get rid of Leothar, they fight the Varanese forces. They will gain the allies 
and they succeed, Tevin and the gang will, you know, be allies with Terva. It it work out, you know, and then that combined with the um, the troops from the end and the barbarians, and hell, if they get Missouri all together, they could probably stand a chance. I'd say. Uh, uh, but there's, a, there's a way to resolve this. Turbo is held captive by the petty tyrant Leothar, who'd happily sell out to Verona. No citizen would prefer that outcome, and so we shall overthrow the wretch. You make it sound so easy. I think you might be missing a couple intermediate steps there. Even if we overthrow Leothar, it's only going to create a power vacuum even worse than the one that got us into this situation in the first place. So we engineer a situation whereby a leader of our choosing takes power. One of Turva's interests at the forefront. That leader is Milan Vaclav. Tell me you don't mean the same porn obsessed shut in that I have the misfortune of being related to. The guy's too pussy to even step out <laughs> The guy's too pussy to even step outside. Not to mention a pervert and total dumbass. Who'd follow him and how'd he even want to leave the city anyway? His mixed lineage ensures he'll represent both in the cities of Turva and his desire to keep the Veronese church out shall provide him an impetus for leadership. There only remains a slight problem of convincing him he's the right man for the job, but I believe I have the answer to this. That sounds like a last, like a last of a legion of problems, one of which lies near to my own interest. I'm the guy's heir, and lately it seems more like a liability than an asset. I've already got enough threats to deal with, and now I'll have to worry about people taking me out to threaten his power? No damn way. Heir to a whole city. No way I'd give to be in that position? And you're afraid of assassins? You might just be an even bigger bitch than your uncle. Oh! Go on. Say that again. I dare you. It seems you're not alone on this fine evening. Now whoever brings you gentlemen to Turva. Huh. Speak of the devil. Varos assassins of all things. I hope nobody decides to be a little bitch and run away. Oh, is that what it's gonna be? I'll show you who's the bitch. I'll show you all. Oh shit. All right. I've been getting all like fired up. Now this is a 50-50 win right here. Like a 50-50 chance I either win or lose it. Um, so I'm going to quick save here. Just in case. Uh, so the strategy I usually do here is. Well let me read their stats. They have backstab of 35%. 270 health. 5 movement. A normal special region. Murderer's Dagger, 35 attack, hit chance plus 10%. Hellwind Shuriken, crafted with the aid of subterranean tell uh, fetishists. I'm, I honestly want to think we're going to get a ninja type character, like a Shuriken thrower. Or maybe like, um, I don't know man, I just, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, he has hidden gear, 30% dodge, really good hit chance. Really high damage, and then plus a the back attack that's like 90, I think maybe 100. Uh, has also has special attack 60, hit chance 150 percent, special defense 13, zero percent special bait. Has throw, which you know is normal, has double stab, which is 50 percent extra. So now he so with backstab and double stab, that's like 85 percent extra damage, which is ridiculous because like i think that's over 140 i'm not sure it's a lot it's a lot dude fatal precision always uses back attack damage and chance to hit two times warp 120 percent movement two turns so they teleport like gherkin these motherfuckers are brutal like like fuck they will use a turn always once the effects end to they'll reuse it toxic immolation poisonous suicide attack used when near death Self-sacrifice, 20 negative 20 HP a turn. So here's the issue here. They'll use it at around 90 health. So like make sure you're ready to take out a whole assassin, which is all your attacks. Uh it does about 90 damage to everyone. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty fucking bad. I normally don't have the um the regenerative cloak on him, so he usually dies very easily, but him having that much health and regions it, it's pretty good. We do have two people who can have a chance to block out arrows. 25% and then 20, 50 and then him is 50. So it's a good chance. I usually keep them over here so that they can't get back attacks on them. So like for example I move him over here I move uh, 
Oh, hold on, let me move Ivan first. Move him over here. And then after that, I just move her over here. So now they can't get back attacks. They can use range attacks though, but let me see if I can shove her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that uh, should be fine. If you rush them, they'll fucking kick your ass. Like, really bad. And they'll always use Fatal Precision. Oh yeah, that's, that's fucking OP, man. That's so good, it's nuts. Fatal Precision, yeah, yeah. If you haven't bought a fucking... If you're doing a no, no like, shop run, and you don't get the refined bow, you'll only have, like... Well, less percentages, but if you upgrade your attack percentages, you should be fine. And give her the stylish fedora. Uh, oh, I can't hit her. And move over here. Break bolt. Okay, that hit. Perfect. Uh, let's use, um, fucking use a uh, spear plus. And then move back over here. And then use Demoralize. Okay, perfect. Okay, that that fucking works, man. That fucking works. Uh, I'm gonna use Demoralize again. Then Strike. And then probably journey net. Yeah, that works. All right, he's dead. 160 damage. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. All right. Uh, there we go. Throw that. Uh, how do I want to do that? Oh, this would be a good spot actually. Hold on. Okay, he saw some good health. Let's move back over here. All right, we should be good. Let's see. Perfect. All right. Uh, let me try to move over here and punch him. If I knife, will he get? Oh, he will get really low. I then knife again. <gasps> He's not dead. Fuck. Hold on. Oh no! I done fucked up, you guys. I done fucked up. I'm gonna have to hit Ivan. Actually, hold on. There we go. I think it's a good sacrifice from not losing 90 health and then get poisoned. I think it's worth it, to be honest. Alright, then it's back to back. Should be fine. 33. Block that. Nice. Alright, so let's uh, demoralize again. Uh, break bolt. Let's see, how much is your health, bro? Oh, you still got plenty, actually. Yeah, let's get rid of some of that health. Yeah, this should be good. I don't think I should attack again, so I'm gonna wait another turn. So let's actually, like, do that thing where we're back to back. Alright, perfect. Yuzubo will finish off. Alright, this is looking pretty good. We're actually doing a very good job here. Uh, yeah, let's go and throw a body. Murderous dagger. Okay. Let's just start throwing shit. Oh no. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to face our backs towards them, so we want to be very careful about this. Yeah, so those bodies, man, so good. So good. And so good. Alright. End turn. Should be dead next turn, maybe. Uses Fatal Precision. Moves over here. Okay, great. Uh, break Bolt. 
misses. Okay. Of course you'd miss on the last one. God damn. Alright. Let's move back here and spear triple plus. Alright, he's at 100 health. It's demoralized. So he doesn't really do anything. Alright, great. Let's, uh... Knife him. No, first let's throw a body. Right, throw that at him and then punch him. Oh, I don't think he's gonna get low enough actually. I think about it. No, I don't think he's gonna get low enough. I don't even know if I want to end the turn or not, man. Should I even? Mm, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna end turn. Oh no, he hit my face. I hope I don't regen. Haha, <laughs> I regened it. Poor sucker. Alright. Let's do that again. This time, Isabel. Break bolt, please. Thank you very much. Alright. And then stab. And then punch in the fucking face. Now, nah, spear plus him, actually. Just for the overkill. Alright, that worked out pretty good. I honestly was afraid there. But, yeah, you just want to be against the walls all the time so they don't, like, fucking hit you in the back. I know they have misdirection, but, like, Demoralize stops them from attacking. So it's pretty good. I'd, I'd say, young Mr. Veklov has returned to us at last. While your errant behavior gave us all a proper scare. I and I might reckon, out of my face, Cornbread. <laughs> that is so racist. Listen here, Lord Milan. If you're worthy of the title, you want to put a stop to the church dicks walking all over you or not? I I beg your pardon, Ivan? Enough of the milk toast act. You spent too long holed up in your cave. You gonna let Leothar and the Voros run your life? Or will you do something about it? It's about time you get it together. We're done running. We're gonna, we're gonna take Leothar out, drive Verona off, and you're gonna be the new lord of this city. You got it? Me, a high lord of Turba. I can imagine the other lords might take issue with that. Well, it's an entertaining thought at least. While they're squabbling, you have the opportunity to snatch power from their hands. Let no man dictate what perverted crap you can and can't possess. I'm stuck being your heir, so I've got to inherit something worthwhile. It better be the whole damn city and not some crappy mansion in need of yard work. Oh jeez, I must have really struck a nerve. I didn't think you'd go all out like that. Were you planning this all along, old man? Let us say that Ivan has taught me a thing or two about gambling. Granted, he fails to objectively at such. With my acumen, the merits of such a skill can shine. Though you deserve a backhand, Ivan, you're actually right. I will claim Lordship of Turva. But you're wrong about one thing. You won't inherit any of it. What? What? After an impassioned speech like that, no less? So who the hell but me do you think is going to run your estate after you're dead? I will produce an heir yet. Mark my words, and my new love will help me do it. Zofia Zidariska, will you marry me? What? 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 Oh, this is all so sudden. But I'm certainly am flattered. I suppose being High Lady of Terva makes for a fine career move. Sure, let's get married. I'm pretty sure Tevin didn't have this planned out. Milan, has menace taking you at last? Climbing for Lordship of Terva is one matter, but marriage to this... Pre reprobate is the height of lunacy. Ed, you're an old friend, but that's my fiance you're talking about. Now, shouldn't you be getting to work on actually overthrowing Leothar? How audacious, especially with all I've done for you. Tis true, though, that this is the instrumental first step in recovering Verona. Take heed, Martin. I was wondering when you'd remember that you'd promised to assist me. Well, go on then. Tis well that I was distracted, else I'd have overlooked important facts. Pursuing Ivan, we came to the train station. Why do you always put train, like, in, in you know, like, quotes? Where assassins of Veronese origin attacked. One of them was coerced into spilling their whole plan to us. There was some kind of reconnaissance force for the royal troop closing in on Turva. Your obsession with thumb removal is most distasteful. That aside, we must remove Leothar from power to gain the aid of Turban forces in beating back the invaders. 
Yes, with the combined forces of Turba and Yendam, certainly we can force Durkin's troop into submission. We shall take care of this matter immediately. We'll show him what he gets for trying to arrest us. Come on, Azu. I'll wait for your return, my love. My love? <laughs> oh, you don't give a shit! Oh, wow. Uh, you okay there, Gimp? It just, you look like you just realized that tentacle cave abomination of something in your ass. I like how she brings up the boss. That's so awesome. I'm a bit shocked and a bit relieved, really. I thought the aristocrat life would suit me anyway. What about you? Aren't you sad to loss of your stalker? Oh, go sniff a privy. I'm just glad we're doing normal work again. Speaking of which, you ain't, you ain't an heir anymore, but you're still the old man's servant. Get moving. Somehow I'm okay with that for the first time in ages. But I won't be a servant forever. Damn. Alright, we got new stuff. Well, let's read these real quick. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. Lithar. One, once one of Turvo's triumphant lords, he arranged their systematic elimination to assume the high lordship of the, Tur of the city, noted for both his seriousness in upholding the law and for his abundant perspiration. Milan, heir of Turvo's house of Eklav, uncle of Ivan and younger brother of the adventurer Tozman's of Eklav, once a hero of the very nice civil war. He's become a depressed and paranoid shut-in. He possesses a large collection of erotic literature. Seeking its protection, he has agreed to become high lord of Turvo. He's engaged to Zofia against the advice of his old mentor, Teverin. Pesco, previous chief of Turva's triumphant lords. He was given to excessive alcohol consumption with a habit of slurring and prone to strange gesticulations. Pesco's death effectively disbanded the triumphant lords and left Turva in control of Leothar, on whose orders Pesco was assassinated. Turva. Oh my god, this thing's getting longer and longer. A large, pro prosperous, and traditionally ne neutral city-state wedged between the Endem on the northwest and Missouri on the southeast. Turbo is known for its bountiful na natural resources, namely coal, lumber, and gold. Its population is a mix between the Brunoi and Kendai people, with the latter forming a small majority. Traditionally ruled by an obligarchy made, up, obligarchy made up of the heads of 13 of the city's noble houses, chief among whom were the triumphant of lords. Turva is beset with increasing eternal strife of all varieties and has been pushed to the brink of civil war. Okay. And that's it. Nothing about Zofia, thank god. I fucking hate her, dude. Jeez. Alright, so this is gonna be a huge fight. I mean, like, the biggest we've had in a while. This is as much as, like, the fucking... This is about as, uh... This is about as, uh... As an ongoing fight as the one with Claude and Bernard at Chapter 2. So, like, where, like, the army's just relentless. And this is more relentless, but, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade... I'm actually gonna get rid of this now, because we don't need it ever again. I mean, it's nice to have, but, eh, I'm fine. Uh, who should I... I'm gonna upgrade her, actually, first. Uh, I'm gonna get Boiling Blood for the extra health. But that's all we can do for now, so... We also got a new dagger, Murderous Dagger. Reduces his hit chance by 10, but increases damage by 4. I'll fucking take it, man. Holy shit. It's so good. Wait, we still have outfits for... Oh, right, right, right. No, I'm good. You, you're not meant for really blocking out attacks. Boy, I don't really have you being up in the front either. Tough to say, honestly, who I want to give what. I'll keep the combat dress, though. Kind of nuts, because when we use Embolden, she gets about, what, 55 or 60 dodge? It's pretty fucking good, honestly. Alright, so let's save. And I guess... Well, there's not enough time. Let's go look at the shop. Maybe I can tell you guys what I'm going to buy later. Ray Spear. Okay. Uh, Vice Knuckles. Jeez. Oh, it's just it's weaker, though. Precision crossbow. Now I'm not actually gonna not I'm not but I'm not actually gonna buy these, so Yeah, I get none of these actually. There's an upgrade of platinum pistol, I think. I'm um, platinum, I'm not sure though. Not a hundred percent. So I know the description is something about steel alloy or some shit. I don't know. Damn that one looks really good. There's there's a better robe which gives health. But they don't have it out yet. Uh, hidden gear. Oh, it is technically better, but nah. Shadow gear, uh, purity dress, pretty good. 
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed.